so Phobia just came out and it stars Radhika Apate. I like Radhika Apate. I've seen her in um, Hunter, Manji the Mountain Man, and Card Kick Ne Pani Mei. And from what I've seen of her, I've liked her. Regardless of the movie, I really like her. And like I said before, I had made a list of actresses who I thought were underrated, who I kind of want to see more of, and she was one of them. So I'm looking forward to seeing her in this, though I'm not thrilled about this being a horror movie. But let's go ahead and check it out. I'm so happy it's just a man I'm 52. That means it's not going to be long. Woo! Alrighty. And play. I'm already getting tense. I'm feeling the tenseness right now. Girl. Girl, no. No, don't step out. Don't do it. Oh, is she afraid? Is she that? She has phobia. Okay. It's not on your head. There's something crazy out there. Oh, or maybe she is crazy. can't go out. Oh God. It's a finger, it's a finger. She said, she can't stay in. Tenseness over. Release. Whew. That felt more like a thriller. Mm. That felt more like a thriller, maybe suspense than horror. So I'm hoping it's less horror and more instead of mind games. The first thing I'll say is, I thought it was going to be like a horror movie. In horror movies, you don't really get to do too much of her acting. This looks like it's really going to be dependent on her acting. And like I said, I thought she was underrated. So I think she's going to do a great job. Secondly, if this movie is mostly her in a room by herself, what are we making a movie about? Like, who is she having dialogue with? Who is she talking to? Is this a good amount of the movie just silence? With her just looking at things. What's the story? I'm not sure what the story is. Well, she's afraid to go out. What's the... I was going to say disease. What's the phobia in which you're afraid to go outside of your house? It's just her inside? They've got to introduce characters. I'm not sure what the storyline is. Because, yes, we've got someone afraid to go out. But what happens? I guess they'll also talk about what led to her having this phobia in the first place. That was scary. It's funny, they didn't give you much, and so it's actually even more scarier in a sense than if they gave you everything. Like if they showed you the person holding the knife, or if they showed you the person cutting the finger off. I mean, that's gory, but it's like, this has got some suspense right now because you're like, it's a finger. Why is there blood on her foot? It's, it's leaving you with questions. It's like, how is that possible? What's happening? It's like scary not knowing rather than actually seeing more and knowing. Wow. For me, to thinking it was just a horror movie, I wasn't too excited. I was more excited to see her. But watching the trailer, I'm still excited to see her, but I'm actually also excited to see the movie. Because this left you with more questions than answers, and you kind of want to see the answers. I'm going to be afraid of the answers. I'm going to be tense as it leads up to the answers, but it looks good. So I would say good one for Phobia. With just a short trailer... They left you wanting more. It was short and sweet and bloody, but yeah, it was good. All right, so bye.